One. Did it. Oh! <laughs> Boys are back and shopping. All right, which melon wants to fly? Oh, they got the long. You want the aerodynamic, don't you? What about the pineapple? I'm not a poet. That's a good looking pine. That's, that's a good looking pine. Oh, he's playing chicken. Will he? Nah, it's not gonna work. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> hey, here we are. Cute shirts, guys. Matchies. Did you Ooh. plan that? That is a massive chest. <laughs> we never do, Stanford. We won't plan that. What's your question? Here. How good's the hat? Nigel Correct. is 200 kilograms. If he falls at 100 kilometers an hour onto this end, what will happen Woo! to this end? That is the big question today. And it's a very exciting one. We have wanted to do a seesaw video for a long time. And last week we were like, what the heck are we going to film this week? And we said, let's just do the seesaw. Yeah, we've never done the seesaw, but we've always wanted to do the seesaw. So we're doing the seesaw. So the way it's going to work, Heron, we've got multiple planks. Plank one. Hello, planks. Other planks, various thicknesses and oh, yeah. tensile strengths. What a word, tensile. Tense. Wow. <laughs> you know the only <laughs> word that's better than tensile? I do, I know it. Do you know it? Today of all days. What, Bell? No. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Fulcrum! 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 Milk! The Fulcrum Fully. is essential and Rexy is straddling the Fulcrum. <laughs> Straddle, also a great word. If you don't watch us for any other reason, it's to learn great words. <laughs> can we play the game who determines who goes up the top thing? Let's yes, play. We can. You get one throw, who can get Rexy the highest? On the towel. Yeah, no, not not just like, you know, lob them up. Because that's Because if he finishes there, he's gone that high. Yeah, good on your Rexy. Bad high. Rock off for the order. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Yes! Mm, so Stampy's last. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Son of a gun. Tasted, you weakling. Just gonna kick things off, ladies. And... Oh, Rexy. Rexy! Ah! <laughs> Not a lot to beat That really there, put Aaron. a lot of strain on the abdomen. Three, two, one. Woo! Rexy's up. Wow, that oh, was wow. that was good. That was quite good. Jack, can you just give us a wave to where he is? Yeah, well done. Come on. Ah! Yeah! That was a fit. Boys, can oh, I do one just more for funsies? This is yeah. classic going. I know, I know I'm, I've lost, but <laughs> <laughs> Just remember last week what happened. Oh, no. Stanford, I remember who's been sending me up frequently. <laughs> it's one man. <laughs> he's, wearing, he? he's wearing a green hat. That's me. Yeah, you're, you're the top. Shame. Yeah, see. That's only fair. <laughs> <laughs> I can only argue that Scott was treated fairly. He lost the game fairly. Yeah, Heron it's good to be treated fairly, fairly once, isn't it? You know, we made sure oh. the rules were crystal clear. <laughs> <laughs> These are the flingies. <laughs> We got a lot of them, they're good. They may not all be used, but some of them will. Oh, they'll be flinging. Flinging, flying, see, soaring, they'll be everywhere. <laughs> Today, ladies and gentlemen, we once again have Nigel, our 200 keg, 440 pounder, big brute Atlas Stone. And he's the contest, Heron. He sure is. It's how long does old mate Nigel take to get from bottom to top, Stanford? With the winchy. So there you go, chuck your guess in the comments below, and if you're the right one, if you're new to the channel, you might not actually know Rexy's original purpose. It was to be put in place where we think the test drop will land. There you go, boy. Be good. All right, so old mate. Nigel, he's just arrived. Said hello to just join the party. He's about the closest friend I'll get today. Right, oh mate, see if you can hit Rexy on the scone. <laughs> oh, what a rat bag. Oh, bang. oh. <laughs> Rexy. It sounded like Rexy popped. Tell you one thing for free, everyone. He comes down a lot faster than he goes up. That was on the noggin. That's, that's, that's really on the scone. If he's alive, he's gonna have a serious neck ache. Come on, son! Oh. Is he reinflating? Yeah! 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 yeah. You're right? Yeah, you're right. I think he's all right. Does he stand? He's all good. <laughs> he's all good. Rexy merch, guys, it's coming soon. Get excited. Hera, now anyone who's ever had a skateboard, they've done that thing where you you really, you give it a good boot. That one? Yeah. That went really well. So we want to do that with yeah. Nigel. Oh, it's yeah. sort of like the mini seesaw, but it's one you can try at home. What do you want to put on the end of the skateboard? 
I reckon let's go the rubber ducky. Quack, quack. Like right at the end? So, or mid? He's, nah, right at the end. Yeah, all right then. And he's lined up to really either go up that way or most likely over that way. <laughs> Whoa, Struth, there's a jet. Go on, son. What do you reckon's gonna happen, champ? I reckon the duck's gonna go up. Up big? I think it'll go up two or three meters. I'm gonna give it one meter. Two or three's big. Uh, I'm gonna go, it's going up at least five. Five, three, two, one. You dog. Three, two, one. Four away. That was a... Oh! <laughs> If that's what a flipping skateboard does, the heck is going to happen with what we got later? There he, he is! He landed upright! Duck flip! Look at him! Duck flip! That's insane! <laughs> Stanford, how far is that? That's a long way. How high did it actually go? I could only see it laterally. I reckon like six or seven. How's the old skateboard? Remarkably good condition, Gaunson. All right, what do we got next? I reckon we lob in the barbecue and we try and flip him and just chuck stuff on the other end and see how it goes. It's hitting on this bang, end. Bang, bang. So this end, if it's anything like ideally. the skateboard. Yeah, I like what's happening here. Why well, it's complete? Yeah, it's time for some flingy, isn't it? We're gonna do the barbecue now, and then after the barbie, we're bringing in the big guns, the big fulcrums. <laughs> Siren or Stanford, new segment. Yeah, we're going here, we are good down here, chap. Right, right, let's do it. And three, two, one. <laughs> that sucked. Yeah. Pretty much. That was about as entertaining as my big toe. <laughs> Learned something that time, Derek. We had a bad fulcrum. It was a weak fulcrum. Weak fulcrum. And this, my friends, I think is a good fulcrum. I would rate this as a great fulcrum. Or pivot point for the layman. <laughs> so we have three planks today. This is the lightest and the least strongest. See what I'm saying? It's pretty flexy. And you would have noticed we obviously haven't attached this in any way. Why is that, Derek? Steph, I'll be really honest. I wasn't here last week, <laughs> so I only found out they were doing this like yesterday. <laughs> um, I think, Heron, ultimately we could have attached this like traditional seesaws, but we thought we'd just give it a go without it and yeah. just see what happens. I love giving it a go. <laughs> what do you want to launch, Scott? Yeah, go, go, the pineapple. Do you reckon the pineapple's gonna go well or not? It'd go better if people got the bell on. All right, let's stop talking to him. What do you reckon? Stampy, <laughs> pineapple on. So hopefully we want it to launch going vertical. Is that the idea? Higher? Is Higher, better? that way. As long as it just flips and flies yeah, down. That's, that's and the we're goal. filming it somehow. It is the goal. <laughs> I think the pine with the flex, it's actually gonna break. I wanna be wrong. I often am, so that's probably a good sign. <laughs> All right, Gonson, we are good, mate. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, gee, it's out. Oh. Straight through the wood, as expected. How good was that, everyone? Whoopee. I don't actually like being right. Dang it. And that right there is why we got different thicknesses of plank. Didn't even think about moving. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we wanted. Who needs Nigel when you've got hair? <laughs> Do you think we hit it too far on the end of the wood? This time we're gonna try and hit it right about there. Still skeptical that the pine will withstand it, but hopefully it's better. And if it doesn't work, remember we've still got the heavies. Three, two, one, the Boys away. Here we go. Oh, nah. <laughs> so this wood, 
It's not strong enough. I summon the stronger wood. Next up, we've got this. It's a lot heavier. Significantly heavier. Stand. It's thicker and it's called LVL, which I do not know what that means. Lots of bits of wood that are all connected, so it's a lot stronger. So people in the in the game, in the beers, tell me. I'll tell you what, we could send this pineapple to outer space, I reckon. Imagine if I caught it. Don't rule it out, Gonson. Anything's possible. Is it gonna fling? I think we're getting a little flingy, Stanford. Just a little. Nah, Stanford, I'm going big fling. All right, I'm keen for a big fling. I'll get on board that train. Yeah, let's hashtag fling the thing. Three, two, one. Come on! No! I was a little right, a little flingy. It wanted to be flung so bad. Yeah, it went about this high. We've got progress. Yeah, it's not great progress. <laughs> Is that plank still usable? I reckon we could probably get one more go out of him. But we need to go to a 90 kegger. In fairness, the pineapple did go up a little bit. The 90 keg is in. 90 is so in. So we're halving the force, but still a lot of force. Still a lot of force. We're also changing this up a bit, Stanford. Yeah, the old traffic cones come into play. It's a bit of thought. <laughs> don't quite know the science behind it, but we're taking the pressure off the end. Yeah. And just hoping to get some sort of flingy. Oh, and then we've obviously put a watermelon on the end. Right, oh, Gaunson. Three, two, one. Come on. We're away. Oh. Ouch! Mm, that was Ouch. bone crunching. Gee, it's got a bit of work to do. I think we might have underestimated the Atlas Stones and or overestimated the wood plank. It's a dangerous thing to try and explain a fulcrum. Right, everyone, so we've put the big horse beam in play. The thickest plank we've got. It's pretty thick, like it's, what, what is that? It's about 90 mil, I think. Put the pineapple on the end as a bit of a lightweight, yeah. and we've tried to get it as balanced as we can. We essentially just want to hit that end and get the motion started. Trying to get as little resistance as possible. Look, we're not engineers, we're not scientists, but we're giving it a go. That's exactly um, it. We'll just give it a go. As well. Are we getting a fling, Gonson? I think we will get a fling. I'm going to remain positive. Oh, you've got to. This is the last plank we've got. However, if it does smash, we have a sneaky plan up the sleeve. So stick around for that. Thickest plank we got. 90 kilo Atlas stone. Pineapple, let's fling it. Come on, let's see a fling. Three, two, one, fling. Come on. I guess it was a bit of a fling. <laughs> it was a little bit of a fling. We can definitely do better. Probably wasn't a perfect middle, but it's also really stressed it down the guts. Not good, that. That's not good at all. It was a sizable fling. It's gone 10 meters. Like, let's not be too sad. Could have gone higher if the plank survived. We may have been outdone with our wood, but we have steel. Beam me up, Scotty. I told you there was a little plan up our sleeves, and so here it is. Hey, what? Well, the beam's about six metres long, isn't it? Uh, and down now. That is like a Swiss watch. <laughs> We've got this steel beam, but we need something to balance the watermelon on. So we're going to try and smash this other plank and salvage it. <laughs> Very effective. Yes. yes! And we've got duct tape. Works like a charm. It might work. It just might. <sighs> I just tried to sprint up the tower. Oh, mate. Show the folks how easy it is to move this thing. Like, that's almost, I would almost say, Heron, it's effortless. But what we're hoping is, if this isn't going to break, then what? This is the next weak point. This is the next weak point. So who knows, Heron? I know I've said it a few times, but that, that could be going big. It could go, folks. So let's do it. You can't say we haven't tried in this Oh, episode. we're trying. Well, today we did not plan to drop Nigel on a big steel beam, and yet... Three, two, one! Listen, heck. Oh! Something happened! Something happened! 
We found the weak link and his name starts with F. Fulcrum, no! Oh, he's cooked. He definitely was not built to withstand a steel beam and withstand a steel beam, he did not. Oh, heck. Good, a good dink. The ripper dink. Oh, that's a good hit. Don't know if you can see that everyone, but the beam is like... What, they can't see the massive bend in the beam? Well, they but, can now, yeah. Blind. I zoomed in like a mad dog. Look at the fulcrum. There's just so many forces going on. Get along what happened to the melon, Gaunson. As it got pushed, the melon just flew apart. Looks like we need to build a heavy duty, all metal seesaw that can withstand anything and fling stuff forever. You know we'll get it done, folks. This is only the beginning of the seesaw saga. Fulcrum. That'll I'll just probably, throw it in that'll again. probably about do us this week, folks. 44 Club, you bunch of absolute legends. Come on, Derek, they know that. All right, let's oh, see. We still need to tell them. We'll see you next week, guys. Cheers.